So this is the 16.2 um, explain section on page 48. I won't go too in depth into the explain one, just to say that we're working with um, functions that show exponential growth or decay. And this right here in step two is a formula that we can use to do that. Y equals a times one plus r to the power of t, where a is our initial value, and then r is the rate and t is the time. So um, we are quite fortunate because the problems will give us everything that we need. We'll have the A and the R and the T, and all you really have to do is be able to plug it in and maybe use some um, uh, technology to help us help us uh, fill out the table and graph. So the only little thing that we have to keep in mind is that when we are given a rate, typically it's in terms of percentages. When it is, uh, be sure to change it into a decimal before you plug it into the equation. You can't just plug in 4, otherwise you'll get a radically different um, set of values. So, if we take a look at question number one, um, we have this context, context here, annual sales at a t-shirt company are $372,000 and increasing at a rate of 5% per year. So they want to know the amount of annual sales after eight years. So, I see that A is right here, the initial value of 372,000, and the growth rate is 5%. And again, we can't just write five, we have to write uh, five is five percent is a decimal, which is 0 0.05, and then we're just gonna plug it in to the right places in this equation. So we know a three hundred seventy-two thousand times one plus r, which is 0 0.05, to the power of t, which is eight. And so um, let's see. Once we have done that, they want us to simplify that, and all that is really is is um, adding um, the two things inside the parentheses together. So 1.05 to the power of 8. Or in this case, we don't want, we kind of don't want 8. We want t, and then we're going to fill in the 8 ourselves uh, eventually. So um, let's see, let's zoom out a little bit. And we're going to use our handy dandy technology here to help us solve this, and I have Desmos ready to go. And we're going to fill in what we had. We had y equals 372,000 um, times, what was the rate? 1.05 to the power of x. Okay, and then if we go ahead and duplicate and make a table, we wanted the values, uh, the domain values 0 through 8. So 0, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, <coughs> and eight. And if you do that, you have the table nicely filled out there. And so let me see if I can't bring this up here. Let's go ahead and fill out this table just like we see it on on the technology side. So three seventy two three hundred seventy two thousand. At one it's three hundred and ninety thousand. 600, 410,130, oh, what did I write, 30, uh, 430636.5, or 50 cents, um, and let's see, at 4, we're at 452168.33, at 5, we're at 474. Uh, seven seven six point seven four. Then we're at four nine eight five one five point five eight. Seven we're at five two three four four one point three six. Five four nine six one three point four three. And let's see if we go ahead and graph these. Um, let me see. Let's see what the graph looks like on the technology side of things first. We have to zoom out quite a bit. Um, and let's change the window actually. We don't need all the way to negative 300. We can go to x values, let's go to 8. Let's go to 10 actually. And for y axis we'll go from 0 to, what's the top end of that? Let's go to 600,000. Okay, so once we do that we kind of get a picture of this going here. Uh, and it looks flatter just because um, 
the bottom end or the bottom of our window is at zero. Let's try 300,000. Okay, so a little better, but that's basically the curve there. So if we go ahead and graph that same set of values, it's going to look a little different just because um, our window is quite a bit different as well on paper. So at zero, we're at 372. So I'm going to eyeball this kind of in the middle right there. At 1, we're at 390, so almost towards the 400s. At 2, we're a little bit above at 410. Um, at 3, we're at 430, so going a little higher. At 4, we're at 452, so we're a little bit above the 450. And then 474. And again, we're just eyeballing all these, so if it doesn't look accurate, um, we're okay. And then 549. So something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but something like this looks good enough um, to solve those particular um, set of points there. Okay, let's jump to the next page. Uh, we're going to go to page 51 now. Let me zoom out here. And I will let you read the explain to section on your own. And the only thing that's different about this one is it's a exponential decay function here. So everything else is the same. Uh, here's the initial value. Or let's read the context first. Speedboat that costs forty-five thousand is depreciating or going down in cost at a rate of twenty percent per year. Uh, find the value of the boat after four years. Um, so the initial value was what forty-five thousand. And it just occurred to me we didn't kind of kind of didn't solve the previous problem. They wanted to know after eight years. The answer was right here, $549,613. Sorry, we're jumping back and forth. Um, but back on this question here on page 51, the initial value is 45,000. The rate of decay is 20% per year. Okay, so 20% as a decimal is 0 0.2. And we're going to rewrite this, just plug in A and R into the right places here. So if we do that, we get Y equals 45,000 times 1 minus 0 0.2 to the power of T. And we're going to figure out what's it, what's going on inside that parentheses there. And we, we should end up with 0 0.8 since 1 minus 0 0.2 gives us 0 0.8 to the power of T. And that's what we plug in to our technology piece here. So I'm just going to replace these values here. So our initial value was 45,000 and inside here it's going to be 0 0.8. And same for the graph. 45,000. This is going to be 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Okay. So we only want the domain values up to 5. But anyhow, um, let's see. Um, oh, my graphs are looking different because of this. We wrote the wrong graph on the first one. So there's my graph right there if I draw this out. So let's go back to our credit here and let's fill this out. So 45,000. The very next year, 20% less is going to be 36,000. The very next year, 20% less is 28,800. After three years, 23,040. After four years, we're at 18,432. After five years, we're at 14,745 and 60 cents. So that's the actual answer to that question here. After four years, um, that's how much the boat will cost, but let's go ahead and graph these at 0, 45 is right there. 1 and 36 is going to be kind of right there. 2 and 28 will be over here, closer down there. Uh, 3 and 23 are going to be over here. Uh, 4 and 18, maybe right there. Let me kind of zoom into the credit here itself. And then lastly, at 5, it's going to be at 14,000, so a little bit below this. So this 
graph will look something kind of like this. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect, but there should be a downward trend um, to what's going on in, in this section.